ठीक है and this is the formula of electric field this is torque this is angular velocity this is force and this is acceleration acceleration you are familiar with we have done acceleration in mm -hmm. class 9 its rate of change of velocity with time okay how velocity changes with time is acceleration so uh, in differentiation it is the process of finding derivatives of a function and it is the rate of change of a function with respect to another quantity the laws of differential calculus were led by newton differentiation and integration form the major concepts of calculus so uh, what we do is we find the change in quantity with respect to another quantity how one quantity changes with respect to other for example if i have y is equal to x square so when we put the value of x we get the x we get the value of y if we change x accordingly y will change okay so functions karwaya tha maine theek hai two variable quantities ke beech mein relation find karte hain isme agar hum kuch bhi x ki value dalenge fx mein then we get the corresponding value of y for example if y is equal to sin x we put x equals to 30 degree then y is half if x is 45 degree then y is 1 by root 2 if x is 60 degree then y is root 3 by 2 similarly in y equals to x square if we put x equals to 2 we get y is 4 x equals to 3 then y is 9 power rule formula we had covered you write the formulas so uh, when we differentiate x is to the power n with respect to x the result is nx n minus 1 okay formula sare learn ho gaya koi doubt to nahi kisi formula mein sab learn kar liya x is to the power n is sin x राइट टू रूट एक्स So we can write this as x raised to the power half. So it is of the form y is equal to x n. And what is the value of n in this particular case? So d y by d x is d by d x of root x. So we'll get n x n minus one, right? N is half. N is half x half minus one. Half minus one is minus half, and this minus half can be written as into one by root x, or we can write one by two root x. This is the answer. Next, we have constant rule. See, uh, if c is some constant, and we are differentiating that constant with respect to x, then we get zero. Okay. if we have something of the form y is equal to cx so here with the constant we have another variable so we when we have a variable x or any other variable with constant then we move this constant here and we differentiate with respect to the variable as in this particular case we have x so dx by dx becomes 1 and we get the constant see there is a difference in these two in the first case we have only constant so when we have just constant then its differentiation with respect to x is zero but when we have a variable with constant then we move the constant outside and differentiate with respect to x as in this particular case we have dx by dx is 1 so we get c okay and if we have a uh, equation of the form y is equal to c u So c is the constant and u is the function of x. U is the function of x means it can be x square or sin x or anything. U is a function of x. Okay. Then we move this c out and we differentiate this u with respect to x and we write u by dx. If it is x square, it will become two x after differentiation. So it depends. Okay. Okay. Now we have to differentiate this. y is equal to minus 3x square see it is of the form y is equal to cu right so when we have something like this we write dy by dx as 
into du by dx. So u is a function of x, right? We will be using this thing for differentiating this. We have y is equal to minus 3x square. So dy by dx is minus 3 outside and we differentiate this x square. Okay, and on differentiating x square we get x square is nxn minus 1. It is of the form d by dx xn, right? It is equal to nxn minus 1. So n is 2. So 2x2 two minus 1 is 2x. So we'll write 2x here. Answer is minus 6x. We have 5x raised to the power 6 differentiated with respect to x. Five x raised to the power six is five outside, and in the bracket we'll have x raised to the power six. What will you get? N x n minus one. Six x. Six minus one is five. Answer is thirty x raised to the power five. Now we have this second uh, question. In, in, uh, in this question, we have y raised to the power 100. If we'll differentiate this with respect to x, then we cannot differentiate it with respect. If we differentiate it, we'll have to consider either y as constant or we can write dy by dx. So there are two ways. If we are considering y as constant, then we'll, how will we differentiate? And if we are considering y as a variable, then how will we differentiate? So if we are considering y as constant, then on differentiation with respect to x, on differentiating it with respect to x, we get 60. If we are considering y as constant, this is the first case. If we are considering y as constant, then d by dx, 60y raised to the power 100. This can be treated as a constant. This complete, this whole, no, everything in the bracket can be treated as a constant and the answer is zero. But if you are considering y, as a uh, variable, then in that case, we can write d by dx 60y raised to the power 100. This can be written as 60. Now we'll apply the same formula, but when we apply the same formula, we write 100 by 100 minus 1. But we cannot differentiate y with respect to x. Right in this way. So we have to add this dy by dx. So your answer is 6000 y raised to the power 99 dy by dx. This is what if you are differentiating it with respect to x and y is a variable, then this is the answer. If you are considering y as constant, then this is the answer. Who has problem in this particular? Okay, I clear the screen? Next question. In this, we are treating this x and y as constant. So x and y, we have constant. Let's differentiate this with respect to z. Now we are going to differentiate it with respect to z. Okay, so we have this p by dz. x, y is to the power 9 and z cube. See here we are considering this x and y constant. So we can take this. We can move this and left with this z cube and z cube becomes the what should I write? X y is to the power nine we number the number
नहीं काटना नहीं होता बेटा इसमें देखो आपने ना इसमें ये वाला फॉर्मूला यूज करना है डी बाई डी एक्स एक्स रेस टू दावर एन इज इक्वल टू इफ यू हैव समथिंग लाइक दिस then in place of x we have z and in place of n we have 3 so 3 z 3 minus 1 answer is 3 z square okay so we'll write 3 z square answer is 3 x y raised to the power 9 z square okay Done. Should I clear the screen? You writing? Next, we have two thousand twenty-four. It's a constant. So when we differentiate any constant, we get zero. On differentiation, on differentiating a constant, we get zero. Again, this is also a constant. We'll get zero. Phi square is a constant. We'll get zero. Now let's try this. Let's differentiate it with respect to x. All three exponential. We have x raised to the power six d by dx of x raised to the power six. Tell me the answer. Yes, it is six x raised to the power of five. We'll apply the same formula. Power rule. Power rule says that when we have d by dx x raised to the power n, it is n x n minus. We'll be using the same formula. If we have d by dx of one by x cube, so one by x cube can be written as x raised to the power minus three. So d by dx of x raised to the power minus three, or we can write min. This is n x n minus one, n is minus three, x minus three minus one. Okay, so it is minus three, x raised to the power minus four, or we can write minus three upon x raised to the power four. Last, we have already done this root x. No need to write again. So, if we have something like this, i is equal to u x plus or minus, we can have, and then we have v x. Both u and v are the functions of x. So, we are adding or subtracting two different functions of x, and now we have to differentiate. How will we differentiate? We will simply differentiate them like this. Differentiate u with respect to x. Differentiate v with respect to x. If there is addition, then add them. If there is subtraction, then subtract them. Okay. This is some difference rule. Can I move to the next slide? Now differentiate this. We have to differentiate this with respect to t. It is not mentioned here, na? So I am adding adding here. But you have to differentiate this with respect to. See, we have f t. F t is t raised to the power eight minus two t raised to the power seven plus three t. So when we differentiate, na? See, suppose we have y is equal to f x. Okay, and suppose let's say that it is uh, x raised to the power four. Then when we differentiate y with respect to x, we get four x raised to the power three, four x cube. So we can write like this, or we can write this f x as f dash x, or we can write this dy by dx as y dash. So they are these are different ways of writing first derivative. Okay. Similarly, if we are differentiating already differentiated y. 
Suppose I differentiate this dy by dx again with respect to this. Then what will I write? So if I have y dash, then I'll write y double dash. And this will be written as d square y by dx square. Means we are differentiating dy by dx. Here we are differentiating dy by dx. It means that we are differentiating dy by dx with respect to x. So when we differentiate dy by dx with respect to x, we write like this. And this f dash x can be written as f double dash x. Again, differentiate this 4x cube. What will you get? 4 into 3x square. Answer is 12x. This is double derivative, second derivative. Okay. So we have ft is equal to this. If we differentiate it with respect to t, we can write like this, f dash t. This is the first derivative. Okay, what will you get? t raised to power 8 can be written as, on differentiating this with respect to t, what will you get? Let's write this first. And some and difference rule says that if we have something, we have three different terms, then we can differentiate them separately. Okay, so t by dt, t raised to power 8, then we have minus 2, t by dt, t raised to the power 7, we are taking this two outside because it is a constant, right? Similarly, we have three constant here. T as constant here. So we'll write d by dt t. When we differentiate this t raised to the power 8 with respect to t, what will we get? 8 t 8 minus 1. Yes. And here minus 2. And here we have t raised to the power 7. T raised to the power 7 is 7 t 7 minus 1. And here we have plus 3 dt by dt is 1. So 8 t raised to the power 7 minus 7 to the 14 t raised to the power 6. Then we have. And we have 3. Are you getting the same answer? On differentiating this x raised to the power 4, we get 4x. And here, plus 4. We have this 3 by 4 here. Right? What will we write? nx and minus 1, 3 by 4, x raised to the power 3 by 4 minus 1. Minus 3, x square, 2x raised to the power 2 minus 1 and plus 2 into 1. 5 fours are 20x cube. Plus 4 4 cancel and we have this 3x minus 1 by 3. 3 to the 6 minus 6x six, raised to the power 1 and 2. Minus yes, it's minus 1 by 4. Okay. So we'll differentiate these terms separately. There are four terms. So we'll differentiate these terms separately. In all these four terms, we have applied the same formula. d by dx, x raised to the power n is equal to nx and minus. Okay. C. d by dx of sin x is cos x. So when we differentiate sin x with respect to x, we get cos x. When we differentiate cos x with respect to x, we get minus sin x. When we differentiate tan x with respect to x, we get sec square x. When we differentiate cosec x, this is cosec x. With respect to x, we get minus cosec x cot x. Please write these formulas in your notebook. When we differentiate sec x with respect to x, we get sec x tan x. And on differentiating cot x with respect to x, we get minus cos x square x. See, in all these formulas, you will find that this cos x, this cos x, and this cot x, they are negative. And uh, for cos x, when we differentiate cos x, or when we differentiate this cos x or cot x, then we are getting answer in negative. Okay, so trigonometric ratios, we can memorize this in this way. The trigonometric ratios, we start with C. 
all the trigonometric ratios which start with c have their results in negative okay for cos x we have minus sin x for cos x we have minus cos x cot x and for cot x we x we have minus cos x square x okay all the trigonometric ratios which start with c have their results in negative okay you have to memorize these formulas you have to learn these formulas next exponential function when we differentiate this e raised to the power x with respect to x we get e raised to the power x on differentiating a raised to the power x with respect to x we get a raised to the power x ln a ln means log with base e ln means log with base e and a is a constant a is a constant and here e is the exponential okay for e raised to the power x we have ex but when we have ax then we write add log a to ax we multiply this ln a to ax okay next we have logarithmic function for ln x we have 1 by x when we differentiate ln x ln x means log with base ax we get 1 by x and when we differentiate log with base ax base a is any number then we get 1 by x ln a then we get 1 by x we need to write these two only okay so this is the product rule now we'll use this product rule and differentiate differentiate the following with respect to x first we have this root x in the bracket we have x square plus 7 this is your second question third fourth fifth so we have five different problems now you have to apply a product rule to differentiate this we have uh, in the first problem we have u is equal to u is equal to root x and v is x square plus 7 okay so how do we differentiate when we have something like y is equal to uv yes so it is d, d by dx first we'll write this root x in the bracket we have x square plus 7 okay so first we will write u as it is and we will differentiate v okay we will differentiate v and then plus now we will differentiate the first term and write the second term as it is okay so this is root x what will you get when we differentiate x square with respect to x what do we get 2x will apply power formula here xn is equal to an xn minus 1 right so it's 2x and when we differentiate a constant we get 0 and when we differentiate this this is x raised to the power half it is ha ye to learn ho jana chahiye plus 1 by 2 root x and here we have x square plus 7 okay so what will we get 2 x we have one year and half year so 1 plus half is 1 plus half is 3 by 2 and when we multiply this with 0 we will get 0 only no need to write plus now what should i write we have x raised to the power half year and in the numerator we have square so 2 minus half 2 minus half is 3 by 2 again the same uh, power we have and here 7 by 2 x raised to the power minus half now you can add these two so 2 plus half is 5 by 2 x raised to the power 3 by 2 plus 7 by 2 x raised to the power minus half this is the answer okay so we'll differentiate like this and which formula we have used here we have used a power formula first power formula says that d by dx xn is nx minus 1 and second we have used the addition subtraction formula right when we add uh, we, when we have two terms in addition then we add, differentiate them and add them right
Would I clear the screen? See, uh, this is the formula that we will be using. Okay, so because you have root x. So, you have to say that 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 so you just put two for n and it is two minus one, two x. Take care. As a root x ke case, make yoga x ki power half. Hai. Root x is nothing but x is to the power half. Okay. So we can write half x half minus one. Half minus one is minus half. So nature root x are in. Up to easy lagger total. Which could the other is a major bit up your first class. Aye. ये already कर चुके हैं. Should I clear the screen? अच्छा अब next try करके देखते हैं कुछ से. Y is equal to five x square plus six two x cube plus four. What will you write? First, write u as it is. Okay. And this is u and this is v now. Differentiate v with respect to x. Now, write v and differentiate u. Okay. What will you get? It's 5x square plus 6. See, we have a constant here. So when we have a constant with a variable, we write constant outside and then we'll differentiate this x cube with respect to x. On differentiating x cube with respect to x, we get 3x square. And when we differentiate a constant, we get 0. Now we have this 2x cube plus 4. Now differentiate this 5x square with respect to x. Write 5 outside and then differentiate this x square. You will get 2x. On differentiating x square with respect to x. And now differentiate 6 with respect to x because it is a constant. You will get 0. So it is 5x square plus 6. And here we have 6x square plus 2x cube plus 4 and here we have 10x 5 to the 10x okay or expand this so 6 5 to the 30x raised to the power 4 plus 36x square have we done all all 4 5 10 to the 20x raised to the power 4 4 tens are 40x okay now add these two we get 50 x raised to the power 4, 36 x square plus 40 x. Are you getting the same answer? Please verify the answers. Question rule may we have two functions of x and we are dividing these two functions. And uh, this y is equal to u upon v, where u and v both are the functions of x. Okay. The question rule says, see how we differentiate this kind of expression with respect to x. Then dy by dx is equal to y is u by v. First write the second term. Differentiate the first term. Then we have a negative sign. In product rule, we had positive sign, but now we have negative sign. Now write the first term and differentiate the second term divided by square of second square of the denominator, the second term. Okay. So first 
we differentiate the numerator and multiply the denominator. Then we have a subtraction sign. Write the numerator as it is. Differentiate the denominator. And in the denominator, we have square of denominator, the second term b. So we write v square. Okay. This is question two. Now we'll apply this question two to, to solve the problems. Hmm? Should I move to the next slide? Have we written? Avni Likpo. Now differentiate the following terms with respect to x. So we have these questions this time. What do we have to use? We have to first term differentiate. First, we will differentiate the first term and then we will differentiate the second term. Okay? Of course. This is the it is a function of x and this is also a function of x. Right? So how do we write dy by dx? How do we write dy by dx? First, we will differentiate the first term. To differentiate the first term. First term is 7x raised to the power of 5. And multiply this with the second term. Then we put a negative sign. Now differentiate the second term and multiply this with the first term. And in the denominator, we will write square of the second term. Okay? Aise karenge na? Haan ji, batao. Kya aga next? So 5x raised to the power of 4, 7 5s are 35. x raised to the power of 4, in the bracket, we have x plus 3 minus dx by dx is 1. And when we differentiate 3 with respect to x, we get 0. And in the bracket, we have 7x raised to the power 5. And in the denominator, we have x plus 3 whole square. This is 35 x raised to the power 5 plus 35 3 is a 105 x raised to the power 4 minus 7 x raised to the power 5 divided by x plus 3 whole square. They all are the multiples of 7. Even 105 is a multiple of 7. So we can write 7. See, you can subtract first, first subtract these two and then we will take the common factors. 35 minus 7 is 28. 28x raised to the power 5 plus 105x raised to the power 4. And here we have x plus 3 whole square. Now we will write 7x raised to the power 4. In the bracket, we'll have 4x plus 15 7 zana. 15 15 7 is 105 divided by x plus 3. So you'll get this answer. Okay. In the same way, you have to try other problems. Second guess, we have d by dx, Hanji x square upon 10x. Pehle first term ko differentiate karo ve. You will differentiate first term first, right? So d by dx of x square. And then multiply with the second term. Now subtract. Differentiate the second term. And multiply this with the first term. And in the denominator, we'll write square of the second term, 10 square x. dx square by dx is 2. 2x, 10x, and 10x, differentiation of 10x is x square x, and uh, write x square as it is. In the denominator, we have 10 square x. You can simplify this x in the bracket. We have 2 10x here, 
minus x sec square x and here we have 10 square x. See next we have chain rule formula. So if y is a function of u and u is a function of x then we this is we apply chain rule formula. Okay, y is a function of u and u is a function of x. Then we can write dy by dx as dy by du into du by dx. Please write this. Yeah, you apply only then you'll get to know. We can simply write this. Okay. Done. Okay. So as you can see here, we have y is equal to ax plus b raised to the power n. So in this case, it looks like x raised to the power n. So what is power rule? d by dx of x raised to the power n is n x n minus 1. So we have ax plus b raised to the power n. So this is n x n minus 1. It looks like x raised to the power n. So we can consider this as big x. Okay. So n ax plus b n minus 1. Now we will differentiate this, the inner part, the thing which is in the bracket. Now we will differentiate this. On differentiating this, because a is a constant and we have a variable with a constant. So when we have a variable with a constant, we simply write the constant and dx by dx becomes 1. And db by dx, b is a constant. So when we differentiate a constant, which carries no variable, we get zero. This we had done in the previous class, right? So this db by dx is zero and this dx by x is, dx is a. This is n a, ax plus b, n raised to the power, uh, ax plus b raised to the power n minus one. Nia, yeah, 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 yeah. Different, right? Ye dekho. Aapne isko kaise treat, karna hai? treat this as x raised to the power n. So where x is ax plus b. So if you have something like x raised to the power n and you differentiate, then what do you get? nx n minus 1. So in place of x, just write ax plus b. Wherever you have capital X, write AX plus B there. Okay, so this is what you get. Now you have to differentiate the thing which is in the bracket. Because it is not X, no? it is something else. It is AX plus B. Right? So we will differentiate this. On differentiating this means you will differentiate this first part with respect to X and then you will differentiate the second part. In the first part, if you have something like this, d by dx of 2x, then what do you write? We write 2. So consider this a as 2 or any number, any other number, we can consider this a as a number, a constant. So if we have d by dx of ax, then what should I write? a. If we have d by dx of 3x, then it is 3. Okay? And this b is just a number. It carries no variable. So when we have a number, then we get 0. B is a constant. It is just a number. It carries no variable. So when you differentiate this, you'll get 0. This is 0 and this is A. Okay, so this becomes N, A, AX plus B raised to the power N minus 1. First, we solve the power. First, we solve the power. Then, we solve the power. Okay? 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 Uh, do you want to verify your answer? Next, differentiate the following with respect to x. How will you differentiate? We have sine 2x. So let's write y is equal to sine 2x first. So d by dx is d by dx of sine 2x. So uh, when we differentiate sine x with respect to x, what do we get? 
cos x but here we have sin 2x so we will write cos 2x now we will differentiate this 2x okay so d by dx of 2x aise karna hai multiply kar चेन रूल है ये जैसे पहले बाहर से देख लो कि ऊपर से नहीं ये इसमें कंटिन्यूटी में जा रहा है देखो ये क्या है इसमें क्या होता है कि पहले ऊपर से देखो उसको ऊपर से वो कैसा लग रहा है साइन जैसा लग रहा है ठीक है साइन का कॉज कर दिया फिर साइन के अंदर जाओ एक्स तो नहीं है उसके पास उसके पास तो टू है तो हम टू को फिर डिफ्रेंशिएट करें ठीक है आ रहा है इसमें हमें चांसेस लग रहे हैं मुझे गड़बड़ कर सकते हो कॉस थ्री एक्स तो वेन वी डिफ्रेंशिएट कॉस एक्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स वट डू वी गेट माइनस sin x but here we have cos 3x so we'll write minus sin 3x now we will differentiate this 3x okay so on differentiating 3x with respect to x we get 3 so it is minus 3 sin 3x similarly we can try this d by dx of 10 4x on differentiating 10x with respect to x we get x square x 4x x we'll write 4x and now differentiate this 4x with respect to x so we'll get 4 x square 4 okay easy theek hai kuch bhi nahi hai maza aayega jab aapko flow banega na aapko mann karega ek aur karte hain ek aur karte hain fir aap puri addition mein khatam kar doge maths ki differentiation इतना मजा आता है इसमें ट्वेल्थ में करोगे मैथ्स में ट्वेल्थ में है ये इलेवेंथ में नहीं है लेकिन फिजिक्स में अब बी से करना पड़ता है हमें ठीक है शुड आई क्लियर द स्क्रीन बताओ वी हैव डी बाय डी एक्स ऑफ साइन क्यूब एक्स सी इन दिस केस वी विल कंसीडर दिस एज बताओ अनुष्का कैसे करें मतलब होल क्यूब नहीं नहीं पावर बिल्कुल पहले पावर को करेंगे तो वी कैन राइट क्यूब है ना तो अप्लाई दिस पावर रूल हियर सो विल राइट थ्री साइन स्क्वेर एक्स नाउ वी विल डिफ्रेंशिएट दिस साइन एक्स So on differentiating sin x with respect to x, we get cos x. So th this is three cos x sin square x is the answer. Okay. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to clear the screen now. Should I? In this question, we have x equals to a t cube and y is equal to b t square, and we have to find the value of d y by d x. You can see that x is a function of t, and y is also a function of t. It is another function of t, right? So we can write capital F t for this. Both are the functions of t only. so if we want to differentiate x with respect to c we we have to find dy by dx not dx by dt or dy by dt but here because x is a function of t and y is also function of t so uh, we'll first differentiate these with respect to t and then we divide okay so let's start from this x x is at q a is a constant now differentiate this x with respect to t a is a constant what will you get हम्म 
Now differentiate y with respect to t. So we can just write b and then differentiate b. Yes, you'll get 2bt. We have to find this dy by dx. So this dy by dx can be written as dy by dt divided by dx by dt. Okay, can we write like this? We can write dy by dx as dy by dt divided by dx by dt. Matlab, bas, aagya. <laughs> b by 1 upon t. So you'll get to b upon t. Okay. X is A cos theta and Y is B sin theta. We have to find the value of dx by dy by dx. So X is a function of theta and Y is also a function of theta. Okay. And we have to find dy by dx. Differentiate Y with respect to X. So because X is A cos theta, We'll differentiate x with respect to theta first. Hai na? So on differentiating x with respect to theta, we get? Tell me the answer. Yes. It's minus a sine theta. And we similarly, we have y. y is b sine theta. Not on differentiating y with respect to theta, we get? b cos theta. Now divide these two dy by dx is dy by d theta divided by dx by d theta. Put the values b cos theta divided by minus a sin theta. So we can write this as minus b by a. Cos theta upon sin theta is cot theta. Mm -hmm. Hello. Next. X is a function of theta. Y is also a function of theta. And we have to find dy by dx. So first find dx by d theta and dy by d theta. X is equal to A theta plus sine theta. This implies dx by d theta is, now differentiate this, a outside and b by this is theta, okay? d by d theta in the bracket we will write theta plus sine theta. So when we differentiate theta with respect to theta, we'll get 1. And on differentiating sine theta with respect to theta, we'll get cos theta. So answer is a into 1 plus cos theta. Similarly, y is a 1 minus cos theta. Now differentiate y with respect to theta. A d by d theta of 1 minus cos theta. On differentiating 1 with respect to theta, we get 0 because it is a constant. And on differentiating minus cos theta with respect to theta, we will get plus sine theta. This is a sine theta. d by by dx is d by by d theta divided by dx by d theta. Now put the values. d by by d theta is a sin theta and dx by d theta is a into 1 plus cos theta, right? Answer is sin theta upon 1 plus cos theta. We find higher order derivatives on successive differentiation. Please write the heading higher order differentiation. Consider a function y is equal to fx. And this is x raised to the power 5 minus 3x4 plus x. Okay. Successive differentiating differentiation means we are successively differentiating a function. So we have a function of x, y, okay, 
expression is given. Now we will differentiate this y with respect to x. So on differentiating, we'll get the first derivative. How do we write first derivative? f dash x. When you differentiate x raised to the power 5, we get 5x4. And this x raised to the power 4 becomes 4x cubed, 4 3 is a 12 x cubed. And on differentiating x, we get 1. Successively, we'll be differentiating, okay? Jitna aapko mo. Ye thikha, jab tak hai jaan. Now, second derivative. This x raised to the power of 4 becomes 4x cube, 4 5s are 20, right? And this is 3x square, 12 3s are 36. And 1 becomes 0 on differentiation, right? Because it is a constant. So we get 0. And so 1, 2, which is now there in dash? Double dash, sing, single dash, I say we can do F1, F2, B, we can do it. Okay? F3, this is the third derivative. 60x square minus 72x. And this is the fourth derivative. x square becomes 2x and x becomes 1 on di differentiating it with respect to x, right? So in this way, we can successively differentiate it. Hmm? F5. F5 we can do, F6 we can do. 120 is 0. 0 is 0. Bas. Achha, ab ye jo aapka f dash x hai, this is dy by dx. Or we can write this as y dash. Okay? Or f dash x. And the second derivative can be written as d square y by dx square. Or we can write this as y double dash or f double dash x. Third derivative is d cube y upon dx cube or y triple dash or f triple dash x. So these are notations. Okay? Differentiation. Let f x y be a function in the form of x and y. So we can have something like uh, x cube plus three x square y plus four x y raised to the power five, where we have both x and y variables. So we can say that this expression is a function of both x and y. Okay. If we cannot solve for y directly, we use implicit differentiation. Suppose f x y is equal to zero which is known as an implicit function, then differentiate this function with respect to x and collect the terms containing dy by dx at one side and then find dy by dx. Okay, now let's see how we can solve this. So we have x square plus y square is equal to one. So you can see that in this expression, we have both x and y, okay? And we have to find the value of dy by dx. We have to find the value of dy by dx. So we will differentiate this whole expression with respect to x. Okay. So we differentiate both the, both sides of this equation with respect to x. So when you will differentiate this x square with respect to x, what will you get? 2x. On Can you differentiate y square with respect to x? What if I want to differentiate? Then? C. Y square. If I want to differentiate y square with respect to x, then we will differentiate y square using power formula, but we need to write dy by dx. Because we are not differentiating y with respect to y. We are differentiating a variable with respect to some other variable. Okay, then we write dy by dx. And when we differentiate this constant with respect to x, we always get zero when we differentiate a constant. Okay, see, so we had differentiated this x square, we have got this 2x. On differentiating y square, with respect to x, we are differentiating. Okay, we are differentiating y square with respect to x. So we will write the answer to y because y square becomes 2y on differentiation. But along with it, we'll write dy by dx because mm -hmm. We are differentiating y with respect to x, not x with respect to x, not a function of x with respect to x. And then 
uh, on this side we have one, one becomes zero on differentiation because it is a constant. So in this way, you can easily eliminate this dy by dx. Okay, so this dy by dx becomes minus x by y. You can move this 2x, transpose it. It is positive, it becomes negative. Okay, now this 2y, it is multiplied by dy by dx. So when you will move this 2y to the other side, denominator me jayega. And you will get this minus 2x upon 2y and 2 to cancel and you will get the answer minus x by y only. This is how we differentiate. Okay. Important. Hai. Easy hai, but different, hai. difficult. Hai. Hmm? Next we have position, velocity and acceleration. So these questions can be asked in your exam, which, are, which is based on position, velocity and acceleration. So uh, how do we find velocity? If displacement is given, can we find velocity? Kaise find karte ho? So you simply divide the displacement with by time and you get the velocity. And if velocity is, is given, then we can find acceleration. V by T or rate of change of velocity V minus U by T is acceleration, right? So we have a question based on this. If the displacement x of a particle in meters is related with time in seconds according to this relation, find the position, velocity, and acceleration of the particle at the end of two seconds. So you can see position of the particle is a function of time. Right? Position of the particle is a function of time. It depends on time. Okay, so x is given. So what is the position? Find the position at the end of two seconds. We have to find the velocity at the end of two seconds. And we have to find the acceleration as well at the end of two seconds. So what is the position of the particle it is given to us? It is 2t cube minus 3t square plus 2t plus 2. So we can find position of the particle at the end of two seconds. Put t is equal to two and you will get the position at the end of two seconds. Two into two cube minus three into two square plus two into two plus two. This is 16 minus two to the four, three is a 12 plus two to the four plus two. 4 plus 2, 6. And this is 4. Na? So we can write 10 directly. And because this displacement is in meters and time is in seconds, displacement is in meters. So you'll get the answer in meters. Verify karna hai, copy nahi karna. Okay. Now find velocity. How do we find velocity? Velocity is rate of change of displacement with time as acceleration is rate of change of velocity with time. In the same way, we can write V as dx by dt. Okay? V as dx by dt. Or we can write V as x2 minus x1 by t2 minus t. So, koi farak nahi padda chai, aise likho ya aise likho. This is the displacement in a given time interval. Okay? Now, differentiate x with respect to t and you will get velocity. What will you get on differentiating this? Put the value of x. It's 2t cube minus 3t square plus 2t plus 2. So we will get 3t square, 6t square minus 2t ho jayega ye 60 plus 2. Ye yaar hai, match karo. So velocity at t is equal to 2. After t, t, 2 seconds, velocity is 6 into 2 square minus 6 into 2 plus t. It is 14 meter per second. This position is position, velocity. Dx by dt will be Okay, 3t square ho jayega, 60 square, phir 2t ho jayega, 60 ho gaya, plus 2, and then 2 seconds mein velocity find. Kar. 
ठीक है नाउ एक्सेलरेशन एक्सेलरेशन इज डी बी बाई डी टी डी बाई डी टी ऑफ बी वट इज बी बी इज सिक्सटी स्क्वेर माइनस सिक्सटी प्लस टू नॉट डिफ्रेंशिएट इट ट्वेल्व टी माइनस सिक्स एक्सेलरेशन एट टी इज इक्वल टू टू सेकेंड्स आफ्टर टी इज इक्वल टू सेकेंड्स इज ट्वेल्व इंटू टू माइनस सिक्स इज ट्वेंटी फोर माइनस सिक्स ट्वेंटी फोर माइनस सिक्स इज एटीन एंड यूनिट इज मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वेयर 